Jake Harlingen is, uh, again, like mentioned, Sherry Land, been one of those epicenters of football for a long time. Although, strangely enough, everyone else has played and we're still waiting for the Cardinals. Yeah, they, they took... I thought they week, played last week. That shows what I know. They took week one off. They're going to play Reagan this week. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, which, look, uh, Coach Gomez, he's one of those coaches that loves to go out of the valley yeah. or bring teams down. Yeah, take the risk. Yeah. I mean, it's early. It's non-district. It doesn't count. I can't wait to see which of the 96 running backs is going to have a good game. Yeah. They always have a ton of running backs, man. They're incredible. Yeah. So they got, they got Reagan. South Vela, we've talked about, should be a high-scoring game. San Bernardino, we talked about. In the Harlingen area, let's go to the smaller schools. We say Le Ferry had a good effort. And there's a guy, uh, Brandon Pettis, is a sophomore, caught a pass from Isaac Galpin. Le Ferry, uh, pretty much cream down the north. Now they got Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa is one of those teams, of course, I talked about Wally Olivares, and he got hurt. That's a terrible mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, and that's a big setback for for Santa Rosa because now you know in those smaller programs you, you can't afford that two way player. So here's the thing, man. I mean, it's only week two. So which of those other guys? Maybe Mendiola. There's some other guys Santa Rosa has, and we'll see whether they're ready to play football. I imagine they're going to make a pretty good effort though because them and Laferri go way back as well. Uh, Rio Hondo, what'd you think of them? Man, they're back at it, man. They're, Thirty-five nothing. Yeah, you know, and uh, it's going to be interesting between them and PI, who who takes that district. I'm yeah. not saying that they're going to both of those teams are going to win, but uh, they look pretty good. Yeah, they're both looking pretty good. Uh, bottom line is Rio Hondo's got. Uh, I we told you about Eli Petoni's last week. They've got another guy that comes in to throw for a while. Petona's caught two for 24, so he's playing here, he's playing there. I like Rio Hondo. Carizales, one of our guys, I think we put him on one of our uh, uh, preseason teams. He had an interception return for a touchdown. So, you know, so far so good for Rio Hondo. And now they're playing Lincoln. Uh, that that injury-plagued Lincoln team that still has some weapons. Uh, they've played really well against those 5A, now 6A teams in the past. Can they pull off another win? And they've always had good games with Wattis. Indeed. They, you know, they remember, 20 uh, to 19 or something yeah. such one time. Yeah. yeah, I remember he went for it on... Uh, on that's right, that's right, uh, yeah. yeah. Went, went for the, uh, the two-point conversion. Didn't make it, but mm. look... Coach James is really great. Yeah. You know, high teams, jumper. Yeah, his team, really? No, no, I mean, he jumps high on the sideline. Oh, okay. He might have been yeah. a high jumper. He looked more well, like a linebacker. But he, look, the guy trusts his team, mm -hmm. is, and his team teams seem to believe in him. Yeah. You know, they, they've always played well for him. I think that this is a, another great year for them. I think they're going to they're gonna surprise a lot of people. Well, they need to polish off Lincoln. Lincoln needs to have a gut check and play better than they did and find some new guys. Santa Maria beat MMA 25 to 13. Now they play. Santa Gertrudis, which I thought was a brand of cattle, but it's actually a team. And they beat Pettis 35 to nothing last week. It is an amazing, silly fact that nobody wants to know. But the fact remains, Santa Maria got some athletes, man. They're not bad. Yeah, and uh, they got that uh, California offense so, over, yeah, over there. Yeah. So, you know, it's going to be a high, I think it's going to be a high scoring affair. The Cougs. I like yeah. those guys, man. I got to get out there one of these days. I was driving over here today and I said, I've been to just about every place in the valley multiple times. That's one place I've never been. Maybe I'll have to remedy that someday. Let's go all the way to Willisie County now. Uh, Lyford lost to La Villa, now plays St. Joe with that explosive offense. Hmm. Yeah, it's, you know, Ly Lyford seems to be trying to find their, their rhythm right now, their, yeah. their identity. But uh, Coach Infante, you know, he's going to get it right before district. Yeah. And this is kind of where he's just kind of plugging things in to see if they work. Remember, Kai Money, even money, 379, five touchdowns. Now, who else? Uh, Raymondville. Raymondville, Gruya. Both teams lost. Were you surprised that uh, Gruya only scored nine against PI? I, I am, but I think that the people from uh, Port Isabel. The, uh, <laughs> we the, told you. Forget about seventeen. What's wrong well, with you? Yeah, uh, they won't be seventeen this week. I don't think Coach Stumbaugh wants to get wants us to to give any credit to them yet because he wants to kind of use right, them right, right. Them, but. It was a big win. Hey, we were wrong. Oh, man. You know, and, Incredible. And what they did to the, I mean, their defense. 29-9. Three touchdown yeah, win. You're, you're watching the highlights probably right now. But, uh, man, they ran the ball well. You know, they, it looked like last year. Busted another long run. And, boy, they never let those uh, playmakers for Gruya get off the line of scrimmage. Okay, now, so uh, Raymondville plays who? What do we got here? They, uh, wait, Bearcats have Gruya. Yeah. Uh, we haven't talked about that game first. Uh, gosh, so one team's going to be one and one yeah. Who's it going to be? I think Gruya. Yeah. I think Gruya, what happened with Port Isabel, it's an Iron Waker. It's a great team. Yeah. We say now, last week, ah, oh, they're not that good. Yeah. We never said PI wasn't that good. We said that they lost a lot of guys and they have to work on tradition to make them good. Hey, maybe a lot of those new guys said, we want to be just like those cats that we read about in the paper. Yeah. And that's perfectly reasonable because there's been no better program in the last 40 years in Port Isabel than sub 5A level. Yeah. And maybe, just maybe, and this is a big win in the first week, they're going to do it again. I think PI could be 5 0 because that was the hardest game of the first five before district. We're not going to try to get ahead of ourselves, but so you got to love what P.I. did. Yeah. yeah. All right, Star County. Roma beat La Jolla. Had some injuries. Now they play Cigarro. Did you see how many points Cigarro scored against Zapata? No. 62. 
Of course, they gave up 36. It's like a basketball game, yeah. you know, an early tournament game there, right? So I don't know, man. Uh, Roma's been competitive. You know, it's no more than San Roma came in at 0 and 10. They're a pretty good program, and they want to get over the hump this year, and uh, they're going to have to they're going to have to hump it and score. Yeah, they are. It, it, you know, because it, it's not going to be a defensive battle. No, I don't think so. Cigarro, I didn't know the Toros were that good, but that's a lot of points against what was supposed to be a good Zapata team. See, we're learning. Uh, we're putting the uh, pieces together. What was that game, Tetris? Remember that game? Mm -hmm. bloop, bloop. They're falling into place slowly but surely. Okay, now, Rio Grande City allowed 41 points in the first half to Eagle, Ingleside, who's a great team. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They're going to be a two or three deep team. Now they've got to regroup against Port Isabel. That's tough. Yeah. Um, I think Coach Longoria is, is good enough to, 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 uh, to find the adjustments, but PI is a tough team. I mean, especially what they did last week. Yeah. I mean, we were wrong. With, uh, I'm not going to pick against them this week. I'm sorry. But, yeah. uh, but I, I think PI has got their number this week. Well, we're going to find out. We'll come back with all the scores. Uh, maybe we'll scroll this down as we go to the bye-bye. But there's a lot of games I'm keeping an eye on for down the road, okay? Look at this list I gave you. Alice 31, Alexander 22. If you're looking for who's going to play whom in the playoffs, I mean, it's only just September 1st, Labor Day, but I mean, I always like to look. Flower Bluff with a big win over King. Hebronville loses to Refugio, Refugio 53 to nothing, but think of who that is. Yeah. One of the best they teams. They took it easy, huh? One of the best teams in the state. Little Bitty School's looking at Ben Bolt as a rival. They beat Rungi 59 nothing. I can tell you that Rungi's not that great. Anything else catch your eye here? Del Rio 14, Uvalde 7. Uh, let's see. Okay, Moody over West Oso. We like to kind of look ahead and see who our potential playoff opponents are playing so that when we get down to October, November, December, we don't have to go hammer and hammer and hammer and say, who is that? Yeah. So we're going to keep you guys appraised and abreast of some of the things going on in South Texas football, but you know we're predominantly interested in the Valley. Any other uh, late notes to add? Maybe some sponsors to thank or some prayers to be made? Of course, special thanks to uh, McDonald's and the Paint Auto Group for making this happen. Hey. And uh, How do you get Daniel with no hair? <laughs> and also, if you have a chance, go to uh, our Twitter and uh, follow us, please. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> I'm tittering over Twitter. All right. So we got the sponsors out of the way. The show second week is in the can. Uh, get out to the ball games. Maybe we'll have beautiful early autumn afternoons and evenings. If not, we'll still go to the games and enjoy it. Greg Selber, Jake Berry, the show. Be there.